Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Lynette. I am with the Skin Candy and we are on another soaping adventure. And we are so happy that you guys have decided to join us on this journey. We are working on our May Burstone soap today. May's Burstone is emerald. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. And I have made these cute Mountain Pour Emeralds. Or gem shaped soaps to go on the top. And we're going to be doing green and we're going to be doing some greens, different shades of green with some silver. I'm going to be using this Nina Simone Sparkles. Look at that. It's so pretty. And we'll be using that um, on the top of our soap today. For the colors, we are going to be using mint julep, which I have never used before. So we're going to be using mint julep, kind of a light, kind of a minty green. And we're going to be using a combination of Snake Island and Enchanted Forest. I've mixed those two together to see what kind of a green we get. What my thought is, I'm going to be doing a new technique today for me. What I'm going to do is mint julep and the and titanium dioxide will be one of my colors to make a really light pale green. And then I'll have the other these colors in separate bowls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the white, green, darker green, you know, and do the variegated colors and then I'm going to dump it in. See what kind of color we get. I'm just going to do a basic swirl on the top, do a line of the Simone glitter, and then put my gems on the top. So, um, oh, the scent, the scent, the scent we are using today is Peony by Nature's Garden. Since it was May and our theme is May flowers, I wanted to stick with a May theme. Couldn't really find anything for May, a gemstone that was florally. So we're just going to go with that. I think it's going to work and it smells divine. As with florals, most florals do accelerate. The reviews say that it doesn't accelerate very much, but I'm not going to take that chance. So in this recipe, we're doing this a little bit different than what we've done before in the past. I have upped my water to 38% and I am using pretty much all liquids in this batch just to be able to slow down the trace of it because I want to be able to pour that into this bowl and then pour it into my mold without it solidifying on me. I did this on the scent of the month and it ended up being really nice and runny. In fact, I could have stick blended it for a little bit longer and gotten a little bit thicker, but with my luck and florals, it would have solidified on me and then I would have been in trouble. So I have already added my kale and clay and my colloidal oats to my oils. We are soaping really cool. We're at about 70, 70 to 75 degrees, I believe. My lye water I made last night, it has Tessa Silk in it, sodium lactate, and just distilled water. So what I'm going to do is I'll stick blend in this. I am going to separate off for my colors, add my colors, and then add my fragrance oil. And then I will be whisking that in just so we can have a little bit more time to work with it. So without further delay, let's get soaping. <laughs> 